Hey people, welcome back to Roblox Equals. Okay, what is happening with Roblox YouTubers these days? This is getting out of hand. I mean, they're public figures, and to think that they're spotted fighting is so unsettling. Let's not delay and get right into it. Here is Inquisitor Masters was spotted fighting with It's Funny in real life. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out. All right, let's get to it. Where did they meet each other? There's a lot of going on, and I truly understand it if it's very hard for you to process the scene, but I'm here to break it all down to you. Inquisitor Master and It's Funny are two of the most prominent Roblox YouTubers. Each of them has accumulated a number of followers individually, and their fans totally love them. They have mutual fans too, but because of their immense popularity and competitive profiles, their fans usually do not get along. So, you ask, what that has to do with the both of them? Well, everything. You see, when prominent figures like themselves shoot to fame, their fans get jealous of each other and drag them into their personal conflicts, which kind of reflects the celebrity. Now, I'm not saying that the fans force them to fight, but it could be. So, where did this happen? Well, the rumors are that all of this went down at a fan meeting. To make matters even worse, both of them had their present groups beside them and it just got out of hand. You know, when something happens really fast and then one thing leads to another, the next thing you know, you have been caught up in the worst situation. I guess you can say that the two were caught up in the heat of the moment and barely processed what they did. So, what did they do? What went down in the heat of the moment? Fans have said to have recorded the whole quarrel, and guys, it was not pretty. Both the girls were too tempted to start fighting. It has been said that they faced each other at a fan meeting they were having. The atmosphere suddenly grew tense, and the fans around them made it even worse. Due to their popularity, both of them carry a heavy weight on their shoulders, and it will not be an overstatement if I say that they can be considered as influencers. People watch them, people listen to them, people admire them. Heck, even copy them. Needless to say, whatever they do is either being judged or admired. The latter coming from their own fans, while the former from the opposition fans. So, it won't be hard to understand that even the girls want to remain friends. It is their fandoms that light the fire. Plus, they each have their own groups. It's Funny has her sibling, and Inquisitor Master has her friends to support her. When the girls met each other, there was no negative energy detected. They both follow each other on Instagram and like and comment on each other's posts. They even took a picture together and posted it with no evil captions. Plus, the accused fight never happened. People say that It's Funny got so angry and started throwing slaps and punches at Inquisitor Master, while Inquisitor Master chose to retaliate too, and the whole situation turned out to be everybody's worst nightmare. I mean, guys, come on. Are we kids? We're not kids anymore. Neither are they. All of us are civilized people who know that fistfights are never ever the answer to anything at all. I'm pretty sure you are smart enough to figure out what really happened, and that people really don't know what they're talking about. The breakdown of this scenario. To be honest, I think who's spreading such rumors doesn't have a clue what they're talking about. As I said, both of them are accomplished prominent YouTubers who've had a large number of followings and obviously, one has to be bigger in numbers if we talk rationally, right? But does that really mean they hate each other or are fighting each other in public spaces? Both girls are extremely hardworking and are very good at what they do. It would be very wrong for us to entitle them to such actions when what they have done is spread positivity through their content. Honestly, I don't know about you, but whenever I watch them, I feel happy. Not to mention their Roblox content is what I live for. So, and the biggest counter proof for this is that Inquisitor Master and her squad live in Texas, while the crew and their friends are from the north, which is Canada. And unless the lockdown has been lifted and there are fan meetings going on, I don't think they met at all apart from the picture they took. So it turns out this whole situation was one big fake story people were using for clout. This makes me sick. And since we've resolved it, I shall stop now and go watch their videos because they make me feel so much better. Adios amigos, hope you have a great day and don't believe in this BS.